Uh, barn fine, you reckon? You reckon I can get this one to go? Will it start? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit past that. But, rebuildable. <laughs> There you go, guys. So welcome back again. Um, so this will be day 29, I suppose. <laughs> it's pretty much what I'm doing here. Um, just each day, um, I pretty much post the video just to what I've done. There might be the odd day where it's a, a couple drawn together type sort of thing, and maybe a bit of that one overlaps into the next. But but uh, yeah, I'm back here. Um, so I'm just trying to sort out a few bits and pieces here. So I'll just turn the camera around and show what it's going on at the moment. Well, the first thing I've done is um, I'm going to anchor some little bits of steel into those two bolt points just to help with um, anchoring, but I've just put a little bit of paint on this because it sort of looks like the body um, goes like that and then it juts, sort of kinks back for the door, so it's almost like too wide at the top. So I was just looking at this and it's actually just bows out here, so this is pushed out, so it's almost like that door frame needs to come across or this needs to be let go and come back in and try and straighten this out because it's all bow-legged it doesn't look nice when the door's closed I've put a bit of paint on this I'll probably move this in a bit um, I don't know a bit but um, see how like, it's all sitting queer here um, so like I can you know pull this back out no problems at all or it actually probably needs to come out a little bit at the bottom of the door so that would actually kick, I don't move it at the top and just move it at the bottom, it's going to kick that door like that, if you know what I mean, it'll push it out at the top and push it out at the bottom pull it in at the top, so that will help this bit, um, which is I can do, so you know, like a mill there will move this a lot here, um, but anyway, this looks like crap, um, so I need to fix this. Uh, the rest of it's not too bad, like the basic line down there. Look, it needs a little bit of adjustment, but the basic flow of the line. But here it looks queer because it's just, uh, and then it's, and it juts around. It should flow nicely. Um, so, obviously, kicking that door background like that, but also straightening this out will, will help that situation. Whether this hasn't got enough shape in it or not, I don't know because I'm guessing this timber was remade and it's almost like it's. Whether it's um, twisted with drying or something, I don't know. Um, this side's definitely better. Obviously, that door hasn't got the clip on it, so. But, yeah. Like it sort of flows a little bit, it needs an adjustment. And this door needs readjusted still. Stupid stick causing me more problems. Now that one don't look say closed, but the basic flow of this, you know, if that door was closed properly, um, is better and a little bit of adjustment. Um, it hasn't got that same funny, it's not kicking in the same here. Um, like, you know, a little bit you can take up with a little bit of filler or whatever, or, but that needs adjusted. Before I go into finishing work, so I'll probably I'll try and get some of these nails out. See if I can get some screws out of this bracket and so I can manipulate this around a little bit and make it sit better because it sits like shit at the moment. But um, so yeah, I put a little bit of paint on this because you can see how much if I pull on that, how much this body will move. So I just I put a little bit of paint on it to try and bring this in. So obviously when I um, do my bracing work in here. Um, I want to try and pull it in as quite a bit so when I let the paint off it's not going right back out to where it was when it was no bracing at all. So I want to try and keep the body in a bit so this, everything fits better. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> so yeah I'll tie into these as well as up the posts and this piece here to try and stop it from flexing back. Um, so, I'll, um, I'll worry about this a little bit later on, but I'll try and 
so I can start getting this rest of this stuff sorted out. I've only just got the anchor, but eventually I'll cut the tongue bits off, but they can stay there in the meantime because I can use it to hold a bit of pressure on with this ratchet, little ratchet strap. So I can, if I want to adjust it, I can just give it another, another click you know, and it just pulls the whole body in. You know, that's also helping down here at the running board where it was hanging way down before. You know, by the time you screw that down, it'll be that would be better. But um, if I pull too much on it, then it cha starts changing all this around too much. But you know, I've got to tweak this door a little bit yet. But we'll carry on. Up Too long, right? Yeah. I'm going to pull it out there anyway. Right. I've let this um, bracket here go in the meantime. Um, and this here will okay, move this around. So I'm going to actually. 
um, that has clamps in it. So I'm going to pull this in a bit. A little bit of timber along here if I can clamp that up. See if I can fit that a bit better before I screw it. So I got that plate screwed in. I bug it around with um, with this bit, trying to get that better. Um, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's better. Um, my pl other plan is to maybe put a little, put another plate up in here and see if I can squeeze it a bit tighter, because um, this is back from here. And see if I can pull this around a bit further, um, just to try and make it better again. Um, so I'll put some screws on that side now, um, and then I'll make the next piece of this, whatever I'm going to make it out of. Because um, what I'll do is, when I start to weld it, um, I need to obviously drill some holes in these bottom plates and get them fitting down first before I try and weld anything and obviously drill some holes in it. Um, I'll probably sandblast all these bits of steel, give them a quick blast, just so I help get any shit off them so I get some good, good, decent, strong welds on there. Um, and then I'll pull this in a little bit more and then when I weld everything and hopefully when I let it go, there's enough tension in it that it won't pull back. Um, I might get away with straps up there, like, um, so they've got the gas, so I can probably, you know, tack it on or whatever and, and shape it and pull it back to this piece and then weld that on, like, tack it on and hopefully you want to weld it up and put it back um, and let it go at, um, won't go all the way back to where it was originally. Um, and then I can obviously do final adjustment on doors. And then we'll move that into here because I want to try and do something with this as well because that piece moves. Um, I'd forgot that I'd unscrew that. that but now I've got to try and pull that post forward a little when I screw all that down. Just to try and get door gaps better on, on that front door. That may help this one as well. Um, if I have to, I can add some material down here. Um, I can do that on here too, but I'd like to get this gap better. <laughs> um, like I can come forward a little bit on this one. And obviously I've got to kick that out at the bottom and push that in at the top. There's just some tweaking to go yet. But now that I've got this reboot, we can do that and then we can we can actually get this body structure right. And um, yeah, and then we can go back to obviously mechanical stuff later, but we can get we can actually start hooking into this body and getting it prepped and um, whatever else we have to do, you know, clean up wise and whatever. But um, yeah, so I'll get some screws in here and uh, work on the next bits.
get that one drilled. And then I'll probably what I should do is go um, wood screw. Wood screw. Wood screw. That's great. And then pick up that bolt. Probably put a wood screw in here somewhere. So I can like, drill all these holes with it from a weaving. And then I can go put that bolt that in, slide that in, and then I can actually screw this down. Um, Use that bend there. Just put a gentle bend in that there. Screw that down and then I can, I can work out where that holes. Right. Oh shit brother from another mother is it? What was this? Who the fuck is Wayne Reynolds? <laughs> Righty, this time. Right, well. Center punch these pieces. What I've done, I've basically every four inches from the end here, punch or mark these every four inches, and, and roughly halfway along here, between here and here. Apart from that, obviously. To bring out the bloody drill batteries back here earlier. What you got? Anyway. We'll run until they get flat. Kind of here for another hour or so, so. No diggy. So this is the one for the uh, big bolt go down through. Very. Well, the weather's a bit shit out there, bro. Right. Bring it back down here. Stick your bump down there. Somewhere. Bloody wretched steps in the red cuts. Hold on. Oh, it's a little better. Yeah. Oh, it's a little better. Yeah. Right. Bitches. Yes. 
Wait. There it is then. So, that's in there. We'll get this boat out. Is he cut there? Yes. Some are about there. Get the wee measurement there, yeah. Get a rough measurement to the center. Mm. Yeah. Look at the road. Mm. From the edge to there. Oh, roughly uh, 15 millimeter. So a little bit over half an inch, yeah. So I'm ready. Okay, drill a hole somewhere about the there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Closer to this edge of the old the mess there. We'll drill it. We'll drill a couple of holes in there. And we'll see if we can get all the boats back in. And then I'll try and screw the ship down. Yeah. That'll be fun. Almost there. We're getting there anyway. If you want, you can come back with me. Otherwise, go watch something else. I don't care. Just kidding. Stay! No, don't go! Right. Put your back over here. Well, to make you a little bit closer again. Yeah. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I just am. So we want a little bit closer to that. So about the edge of that mess. Go get a decent bullet. Somewhere about there. Put that in the vise. Yeah. Mm. I'll go a little bit further over so I get a, a little bit more physical pressure so that the steel is not so bending so much. Right. I might have taken flattery off that one. This will be flattery. Because unfortunately, I don't think I got my charger there. No. Drill a bloody all. Yes, I think I got a hole in that one. Yeah. We go to a slightly bigger all. Make sure, yeah. Whoa. Mr. Nikita sounds lots of grunty. Oh, thanks. Oh, fast. Whoa. So we can break the rubric, yeah. That might be too fast. Plugs in a sex shop. Or a sex toy shop. I reckon. Just without it. See this one goes. Let's just when it's any good. Oh, it might be in for a win now. Yeah. A bit more sauce. There's a bit of a rematch. Right. 
Let's go see if this fits. Yeah. Fitting? Go see if fitting. See if this boss is any good at making shit. I try. Right. There we go. I'll try this. Let's see if it make your picture a little bit bigger again. Yes. Right. Oh, we're in the ballpark, I think. I don't know which ballpark, but we're in a ballpark. Oh, it looks good. We yeah, might go down to the hall. Very good, yes. Might have to cut a, uh, a file, a square into there. That's alright. We can do that like that. Let's mark this to cut excess shit off. Somewhere about there. Don't know if you can see me, but should be right. Turn that down there. To throw the, oh, that shit. I might even just kick this back a bit like that. Turn that up a little bit so it's a little nicer. Make it nice and tight and pretty. Who said pretty? Right. We don't have to worry about that now. Let's uh we find some more squares. No, I didn't count to sink. That's all right. That's all right. We don't need to count to sink at the moment. Yeah. Kind of. I look like I bent it in about the right place. If I screw them in, I don't hold that down nice and tight. Yes. Find some screws. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. Ah, ah, ah. The lucky number today is seven. I don't know if it's lucky, but that's the, that's the bloody number for this one anyway. <laughs> well, technically, nine got nine hours in it, but now they made seven screws. Head up to a bolt. And they will need a couple of squares cut them in. So these, so these here can get them and lock in. Like a good little thing. One, two, three, I'm gonna say I got four there. Four, five, six, seven. Right. Get a little bit, uh, get a little drill bit and drill some holes in there. I know we need to drill holes in the air and all that shit yet, but we won't worry about that yet. Little drill bit, yes. Drill, oh. I remember to change it so I wasn't too big. But it's bloody wet. Why is it so wet? I blame Wayne Reynolds. Sneaky bugger. But he was a nice person and bought a t-shirt, a couple of t-shirts and a cup. Uh, from my Teespring store. So go buy some shit at my Teespring store. Help support the poor bastard. I need lots of money. Lots and lots of money. And more than I bloody got anyway. Might help me get to America. But that letter will help me boot America. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Right. So I really need to bolt all this down, don't I? I really do. So this needs to screw down, that needs bolted down. So I might have to make the slot in there. And then I can finalize this bit. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Probably should have made it all at one bit. That's all good. We'll work something out. It's a bit wet out there. Your house, yeah? 
make whole square. So I fit that. Alrighty guys, so I'm just about out of time again, unfortunately, but I've got this one started. Um, it's got my whole drill for there, obviously. Um, yeah. Sorry, that way. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? Yeah. Not right. So, so that in there, obviously. And then that comes down there. I've still got to bend it um, here. And then pull that down and drill the hole. But I'm running out of time. Um, so yeah. So hopefully tomorrow um, I'll I'll try and get this finished. I gotta file the holes, the squares and the holes for the um, big coach bolts. Um, and then I can actually bolt this down hard. Um, in the meantime. Even these, I'll just I'll just use what I've got here, though. Um, so I'm not sure if the other bolts I've got here will be long enough. I can check that um, because it's actually up a little bit. They actually had them down in the steel, or down in the wood before, whereas they actually need to be located into the steel. Um, so yeah, I can use this all thread for that anyway. I can just wind a couple of nuts on, um, clamp it up tight. It doesn't it's not critical as long as it's clamped down tight bolt these two end ones down tight so that's all down tight um, and then I can uh, work out the rest of the steel work over in between there and down there um, and work out exactly how I'm going to do that but yeah I'm basically out of time for the day again they go pick the young fella up from school. Um, so yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Um, cool. Places will do. It. Can't think of anything else to say at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, again, thanks for all the subs. Uh, if you're interested, um, jump out, jump over and check my other. Little channel out, um, NZ or NZ My Part Reacts. Um, I'm just I'm doing a few reaction videos to some music, just for a bit of a side gig to try and see if I can help drag some people across, um, just from different perspectives. Um, so I watch a few music. I, you know, like I listen to, I try to listen to music, try and find some new music. And I see these channels are pretty popular and they grow pretty quick. I'd rather concentrate on the car stuff, but um, the odd five or ten minute video doesn't take much to make um, when it's just listening to a song and saying what you think. Um, and I seem to be, it seems to be growing pretty quick. I've been going a week and I've, like, I'm already like above 50 um, subs, and one, one of the songs has had almost 3,000 views, so um, it's possibly going to happen quick, so hopefully I might drag a few people across, but if you want to go watch that, just jump over, um, perhaps you need to link the two channels together, but I will, um, at some point, anyway guys, we'll catch you later on, um, I don't think I'd have anything else to say, I'll bang this together, if it's long enough I'll put it up tonight, otherwise I'll see you tomorrow.